Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the resultant set of policy, or RSOP, and what that does is that it shows you all of your group policy settings that are applied to your computer. Now, if you're a home user, you're probably not going to have anything configured unless some program you installed did something or some spyware you got in there did something or someone else is messing with you. But if it's a work computer or on a network or on a domain, then you're probably going to have some policies applied from a group policy. And if you want to see what you are, you simply run this tool and it will show you. But first, before we do that, we're going to set some up. So let's say let's do some settings here. Let's go down to Windows Update and let's configure some policy settings here. Let's change this to Enabled. And let's change this to disabled and then let's go into let's say shutdown options and let's enable that okay and now we're going to go do the same thing for user settings so these apply to the computer no matter who's logged on this will apply to the user so let's go to let's say control panel Let's enable that, and let's go to desktop, and let's disable that. Okay, so now we have our changes made, so let's say you didn't know what changes were made. You just know something's acting weird, like let's say you can't get into control panel or you can't change your desktop wallpaper. So what you want to do is from start here in the search box or from Cortana if you're on Windows 10, just run RSOP and hit enter or you could click on rsop.msc and it's going to scan the computer for applied policies okay so now you'll notice that okay let's go back to computer configuration where we change those uh, windows update settings And we have turn off auto restart and allow updates to be downloaded automatically enabled. So if we go back to here and we go to the same section, you can see those are the only two things that are shown. So this just shows you which policies are enabled or disabled in that section. And if we go to shutdown options, you'll see we enabled this one too. And you don't see any of the other ones. And under user configuration, uh, we did control panel, and there it is, compared to control panel down here, where this shows all the other ones. So that's how you could check that, and then if you have the right permissions, you can go in and change them back from the group policy thing, or this just kind of shows you kind of like a read-only setting. So as you can see, we click on each one here, it just you can't do anything with it. You have to go back to the actual group policy. And to get to this group policy editor, you just same things from start or Cortana, gpedit.msc, and that'll bring that up. Now keep in mind, if you have Windows Home Edition, you're not going to have this. This is just for the more professional or enterprise level versions of Windows like you would have at work. So that's that. So that way you can see what you got. And if, like I said, if you have permissions, you can go back and change them. And one other cool thing, is let's say we're in computer configuration and we go down to all settings and then if we sort by state this shows us which ones are enabled or disabled so it kind of shows you the same thing and then from here you could actually go ahead and change it and same thing from user configuration all settings sort by state and shows you the same thing so then you're probably wondering why just why not just use this instead of the RSOP, and that's because you could apply this to other computers. You could run this remotely on other computers and look at them and get information that way compared to when you do this. It's just local just for you. And one other thing we're going to show you is from a command line, so CMD. You want to right-click in and make sure you run as administrator, otherwise it might not work. And I have some commands here. 
So this one's the GP result, and the scope of this command is to run it for the computer section and V for verbose. So let's run that here and see what we got. Okay, so you can see, back to the top here, just kind of shows us our information, OS version, and last time group policy was applied, and so on. And then if you scroll down, you can see these Windows Update settings that we did um, there and here. And it'll kind of break it down into categories. And so let's clear the screen there. And then we'll run this other one for the user settings, which is this over here. Again, shows you similar information. Then once it's finished loading here, it'll you can scroll down, and then there's the ones that we did here. And same thing with the different categories. And you could run this remotely on another computer. So if we just let me do if just run GP result by itself, it'll show you the parameters for users, and this here's the scope we were using and that kind of thing. So there's a few ways for you to check your policy, see what's applied to your computer, then you can see if that's giving you problems or not. And like I said, if you have the right permissions to be able to change it, you could turn those back to either not enabled or disabled or whatever you think is going to help fix the problem and see if that helps you out. All right, thanks for watching.